Welcome to Anywhere Math. I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today, today is a very exciting day. We're going to get into a little bit of algebra with solving equations using addition and subtraction. Let's get started. All right, here's our first example. Tell whether the given value is the solution to the equation. Now, before we get started, we've got a new term here, solution. Uh, so what exactly is a solution? Well, a solution to an equation is just a value for a variable that makes the equation true. Okay, now with an equation, you have one side is equal to another side. So for it to be true, that has to stay true, right? This side has to be equal to this side. If they're not equal, then it's not an equation, okay? And that would not be a solution. So let's see with the first one. Uh, for A, P plus 10 is equal to 38 if P is 18. So we're trying to see if 18 is a solution to this equation. So to figure that out, all we do is substitute. We're saying P is equal to 18, so then I'm going to substitute 18 in for P. So I get 18, I'll just do that in a different color, uh, plus 10 is equal to 38. Well, 18 plus 10 is 28, which is not equal to 38. Now, the fact that those are not equal means that 18 is not a solution. Not a solution. Because this equation is not true, right, when 18 is, is for P, okay? Let's do the next one. 4Y equals 56. Y is equal to 14. So again, we're seeing if 14 is a solution for Y for this equation. So we're going to substitute. So it's just going to be 4 times 14, using my parentheses when I uh, substitute is equal to 56. Well, 4 times 14 is 56. That's equal to 56, which means, yes, 14 is a solution. Okay, so 14 is a solution. Uh, here's some to try on your own. Okay, next, before we get into example number two, I want to talk a little bit about equations. Now, you should know an equation has an equal sign, where one side is equal to another side. It's different than an expression. Um, but let's talk a little bit more about that. A really good way to uh, give an example of equations is with a scale, right? Scale has one side equal to another. If they're not equal, the scale is going to show that, and they will, it'll kind of tilt like that. So here's an example. I've got this red ball plus three little blue blocks. And then on the other side, uh, I've got seven. Three and four more is seven blue blocks. Um, and you can see in the scale, it's balanced, which means this side, the weight of this side, is equal to the weight of that side. That's why it's balanced. Now, if I want to figure out, well, how much does that red ball weigh? Well, um, one thing I could do, I, if I took one of these blocks away, well, if I did that to one side, then all of a sudden, this they were balanced. I took one away, so now that's going to be a little bit lighter than this side, right? So that would go up. Um, but equations, I want it to be equal. This side's equal to this side. So if I took one away here, if I also took one away here, well, then it was lighter, but now it's going to balance out again. I could take away the same amount from each side, and it'll stay balanced. I could also add. If I put another blue block back on there, one on each side, it would stay balanced again. Now, if I'm trying to find exactly how much the red ball weighs, you might think, well, I'm going to have to get the red ball balanced with something on this side, just the red ball. Right? That would tell me how much it weighs. Well, I took one away from here and one away from here, and it stayed balanced. So I could also take two more away from here. If I take those two 
away. Now I've got the red ball all by itself, but again, if I took those away, it's going to be lighter here. I want to make sure it stays balanced, so i got to do the same thing to this side. And I can take those two away. So doing that, now, hopefully you can see, well, how much does that red ball weigh? Well, the red ball is equal to four of those blue blocks. Okay, That's exactly what we're doing uh, with solving equations. Okay. We're basically trying to get the variable alone on one side equal to something on the other side. Okay, when we achieve that, then we basically have found our solution. Okay, let's look at an example. All right, here's example number two. Solve x minus two is equal to six. Solving an equation just means finding the solution. Okay, so I'm trying to find the solution that would make this equation true. What value of x would make this equation true? Um, now, it's going to be pretty simple. And the problems at the beginning will be pretty simple. A lot of them you'll be able to figure out just on your own using mental math. But that's not the point. The point is to learn the process so that when it gets more difficult, when you have very difficult equations to solve, you already know what to do. You know the steps uh, to take to get your solution. So. Just trust me, follow the, follow the, the steps, learn, uh, learn how to solve these equations with easy ones, so then when it gets more difficult, you'll know what to do. Um, so, again, the goal, think of the scale problem. The goal, I was trying to get the red ball all by itself with something else, everything else on the other side, and have it equal. Okay. Same thing here. I need to get the variable alone. That's the goal when, so, uh, when solving equations. Right now, it's being subtracted by 2. Well, to undo that subtraction, I use the inverse operations. The opposite of subtraction is addition. So if I add 2, that minus 2 will go away. You can think of it, well, what if you had 10 minus 2 plus 2? This minus 2 plus 2... Those are opposites. Those are subtraction and addition are, are inverse operations. They're opposite in, uh, operations. So they would cancel each other out. That, that would become 0, and I'm just left with 10. So same thing here. Instead of the 10, though, it's an x. So if I add 2, that goes away, and I have x alone. But remember, on the scale problem, when I took two blocks away from one side, if I just did that, it would become unbalanced. The most important thing with solving equations is that anything I do to one side, I do the exact same thing to the other side, the other side of the, uh, of the equal side. So when I took two blocks away from here, I also took two blocks away from here so that it stayed balanced. Same thing here. If I add two on this left side, I add two on this right side. Okay. So those go away. I'm left with x bring down my equal sign and 6 plus 2 is 8. Okay. So to check to see if that is my solution, all I have to do is substitute it back in. You should never miss uh, an equations problem, right? Because you can always check. You can always check your answer. So substitute 8 back in. Well, 8 minus 2, is that 6? Yes, it is. So 8 is my solution. Okay. Let's try another one. So how about um, 18 equals x minus 7? Okay. Now, it looks a little bit different because now the variable is on the right side, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which side it's on. The process is the same. So again, my whole goal is to get the variable alone. So I'm going to focus on this side first. I don't even care over here. x minus 7, well, to undo that minus 7, or to get rid of it, I need to do the opposite. I'm going to add 7. And the most important, kind of the golden rule, anything I do to one side, I do the exact same thing to the other to make sure it stays balanced. So I add 7 here. Those go away. I'm left with x is equal to 25. And if I want to check to see if that's a solution, substitute it back in. 25 minus 7 is 18. So I'm happy with that. That's my solution.
Here's some more to try on your own. All right, here's our last example. Solve x plus 13 is equal to 27. Going about it the same way, focusing on the side that's got the variable. My goal is to get that variable alone. So right now, we've got, we're adding 13 to it. So I need to get rid of that plus 13. Inverse operation of addition is subtraction. So I am going to subtract 13. Anything I do to one side, I do the exact same thing to the other. Subtract 13 here. That goes away. I'm left with x. Bring down my equal sign. 27 minus 13 is 14. And before I'm going to box my answer, I'm going to check by substituting it back in uh, for x. So 14 plus 13, is that 27? Yes, it is. So 14 is my solution. Here's some more to try on your own. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe.